Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at lead code problem and the problem's name is count partitions with even some difference. In this question, we're given an integer r equal nums of length n. A partition is defined as an index i where i is between the starting index and n minus 1, splitting the array into two non-empty subarrays. So it means there should be at least one element in both the subarrays. The left subarray consists of indices from 0 to i, both inclusive. The right subarray consists of elements with indices i plus 1 to n minus 1, both inclusive. A task is to return the number of partitions where the difference between the sum of the left and the right subarrays is even. So let's take this example and see how we are getting the output. I've taken the same example as example 1. We're given the input array nums. Now our task is to parti partition this into two arrays. So let's iterate from starting to end. If this is one partition, all these elements are, if this is left, the, all this will be right. If this is left, all these will be right. Again, if this is left, these both will be right. Again, if all these four are left, this will be right. But you can't take the entire array as left because there is no elements in the right. So you stop your left partition here so that this element will be the right partition. So that is our main idea. So instead of doing these partitions, what we have to do is we can find the sum of the total array. So let's find the sum of the total array. I store it inside a variable total, which is initially zero. We keep iterating. First we take 10. Next element is 10 again. Next element is three. Next element is seven. Next element is six. So we do the sum of this which is equal to 36. We have our total, which is 36. Now let's iterate for the left subarray. So this will be a first iteration. The second iteration will be only till n minus one. So we start from here. So I will start from here and it will end here because this will be a right partition. Now in this iteration, this will be a second iteration. Here we'll find the left sum. So start with left sum is initially zero at 10. So left sum is 10. If left sum is 10, what will be the right sum? We don't have to calculate all the elements in the right subarray. You can do total minus left sum. So total is 36, left sum is 10. So right sum is equal to 26. So now you have these two values. You have to do 10 minus right sum, that is 26. This value is equal to minus 16. Check if this minus 16 is even or all. So if you do modulus 2, to leave a reminder zero yes so this first partition you store your output count which will be a uh, output which is initially zero since you got one partition which is satisfying you increment one the next iteration to the left sum you add the second partition now i will be here add that to left sum which is equal to 20 total is 36 left sum is 20 which is equal to 16. now we have to do left sum minus right sum again left sum is equal to 20 right sum is equal to 16 this balance is 4 check if this 4 is even yes it is even so increment count so similarly again when i will go here we add that to left sum which is equal to 23 right sum will become 36 minus 23 which is equal to 13 now again we have to check left sum is 23 minus 13 which is equal to 10 10 mod 2 is equal to even so increment count the next iteration i is here add 7 to this which is equal to 30 right sum will become 6 now we have to do left sum 30 minus 6 this balance is equal to 24 check if this is even yes it is even so increment count now we stop our iteration here right because if i goes here this entire thing will be our left array and there will be no elements in our right array which is not possible because we need two non-empty subarrays. So here we found our count is equal to four. So four will be returned as your output and four is the expected output. Now let's take a look at the code. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name. The input array nums is the input, array, input parameter and the return type is an integer. So let's declare our return type. That is an integer count. This will be our output. Now I'm going to count the total sum of the input array. I'm going to store it inside a variable total, which is initially zero. Now let's iterate through the input array nums from starting index until the end to find the total. So to the total, add nums of i. Now we have our total. Now let's count the left sum. 
now let's iterate through the input array from 0th index until n minus 1 because we need to leave at least one element in the right subarray so we only go until n minus 1 so again i will start from 0 to the left sum add the current element so we keep adding that is num so far now we have to calculate the right sum right how do you count the right sum you can subtract left sum from the total we have to check if the difference between the left sum and the right sum right sum is total minus left sum so instead of storing it inside a variable i'm calculating right sum here so let's store this entire thing in braces and and check if this is even if this difference is even it will leave a reminder zero if this is the case increment our output variable count and finally outside the for loop and here we did one error we don't have to go to nums.length we have to go only till nums.length minus one because we need to leave one element to the right in the right sub array now outside this for loop once you process all the elements we have to return a variable count which is our output now let's try to run the code the test cases are accepted let's submit the code and a solution is accepted so the time complexity of this approach is big of n where n is the number of elements inside the nums array and the space complexity is big of one constant space because we are not using any extra data structure to solve this question except variables which is of constant space that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video